Всем привет! Сегодня у нас урок грамматики, и мы продолжаем с вами изучать именительный падеж. Hello, guys! Today is the grammar lesson, the second lesson, by the way, if I'm not mistaken. And today we are going to continue just learning the nominative case. But today the nominative case is uh, with the plural nouns. Last lesson there was uh, <coughs> sorry. A last lesson uh, was uh, the lesson that was devoted to the nominative case with singular nouns. Now we are going to learn it with plural nouns. But uh, let's revise some information. Some are nouns, not some, but all of the nouns. Uh, in the nominative case, in singular, I have all the examples on the blackboard and all of the nouns are in singular. You can uh, look at the endings. Are, ending are, no ending, ending are, are and мягкий знак. Мягкий знак, all of these endings are are uh, all of these endings uh, belong to the uh, singular belong to the singular and uh, we are going uh, to change all of these sentences to make them plural and everything i think uh, will be clearer okay everything is in english nothing Nothing is in Russian. Uh, давайте посмотрим на доску. Все слова с окончанием А, нет окончания, окончание А, А, uh, мягкий знак. Uh, мы сейчас все эти предложения существительные сделаем uh, во множественном числе. И вы увидите, как это будет... Uh, во множественном числе выглядеть. And uh, wait a second. Uh, let's revise some information that uh, the nominative case uh, has two questions: кто and что. Who and what. I think you know it. And all of the nouns that are in the nominative case are at the beginning of the sentences, right? They are at the beginning of the sentences. Все предложения в именительном падеже стоят в начале, в начале предложения. Только в начале. Итак, береза стоит далеко. Береза стоит далеко. The tree, oh, if I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, this is uh, the name of the tree. But unfortunately, I don't remember how it will be in English. But I can uh, say it, the tree, okay? Uh, the tree is far. The tree is far. We can ask a question. What is far, right? Что стоит? Береза. Что стоит? Береза. The next Арбуз очень вкусный. Uh, Арбуз watermelon. Uh, the watermelon is very tasty. The question is, there is no uh, verb here. In English we have is, but in Russian we don't have anything. Арбуз что вкусное? Что? Арбуз, the question is что? Right? Девочка кушает конфету. Девочка кушает конфету. А, кто? Кто кушает конфету? Девочка. Девочка. А, Uh, wait a second. Okay, 
sorry, sorry. Итак, девочка кушает конфету. Uh, the girl is eating uh, a candy. Who is eating? Who is eating? The girl. Кто кушает? Девочка кушает. The next. Папа читает газету. The dad is reading a newspaper. Uh, uh, the dad is reading a newspaper. Who is reading? The dad. Кто читает газету? Папа читает газету. Okay, sorry. Я еще раз извиняюсь, столько людей меня сегодня беспокоит. I'm terribly sorry. I don't know why, but lots of people are bothering me today. And now, uh, the last example. Uh, in the nominative case, in singular. Мышь сидит тихо. The mouse is sitting quietly. What is sitting? Что сидит? Мышь сидит. Что? Окей? Окей, don't forget that all of these examples in the nominative case in singular. Let's change it into, into plural. All of this, all of these nouns, you will see in plural. Let's look. Let's look at uh, how each uh, noun will be changed. Береза. Береза. А uh, береза changes into и. Березы. Стоят далеко. The trees are far or far away. Okay, please pay attention only to the <coughs> changes in the noun. And uh, uh, don't look at the verb. You know that uh, the verb is, uh, uh, the, is changed like a noun, but we focus on our attention only to the nouns. The nouns. Okay. Arbus. It will be arbuzy. Очень вкусные. Arbuzy. А uh, watermelons are <coughs> tasty. What are tasty? Что вкусные? Арбузы. Что вкусные? Арбузы вкусные. Что стоит далеко? Березы. I mean, what is far or far away? The trees. The next. Девочка changes into... Mm. Девочки, девочки кушают конфеты. Девочки, the girls are eating candies. Who is eating? Who is eating? The girls. Кто кушает? Девочки кушают. Кто кушает? Девочки кушают. Итак, папа. Папы. Папа changes into папы. Папы читают газеты. Everything will be in plural, right? Our fathers are reading the newspapers. Who is reading? The newspapers. Fathers. Кто читает газеты? Папы. And the last example is Мышь сидит тихо. Мышь changes into Мыши сидят тихо. Mice are sitting quietly. Мыши сидят тихо. Oh, 
What is sitting quietly? Что сиди тихо? Да, или кто тихо сидит? Мыши сидят. Мыши. Окей? Окей. Please be attentive and focus only on these nouns. And let's look at the nouns. What endings can you see? Какие вы видите здесь окончания? Посмотрите очень внимательно. И. И. There are two endings. И. И. Okay, in most cases, in the nominative case in plural, the endings are и and и. There are some exceptions. Not some exceptions. We have all exceptions. Believe me, because oh, it was... We have lots of exceptions. Uh, that's why it's better to know that there are two endings in plural. И. If you want to know get more, ask me. <laughs> okay? But uh, if you know it, it's okay, it's good. And if you see U, I, it means that this noun is in plural. And if the noun is at the beginning of the sentence, it means that this is the nominative case in plural. That's it. Now that's all for today. Надеюсь, этот урок был для вас полезным. Изучайте русский язык с удовольствием. Пока!